We have an exclusive update. Remember Miss Kiana Cooper and how she was harassed by the police, beaten by the police, charges dropped. They now, her and her mother, speak out. I want to remind you of the exclusive we brought you first. Here it is. For Zulu Lima. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is amazing. How you doing? You got an ID on you, ma'am? Why am I giving my ID? Because I asked for it. Because you asked for Yes, ma'am. Okay, I no longer feel comfortable because I don't even have a problem Okay, here. well, I'm asking you for your ID. If you don't produce it, I'm going to take you to jail. Okay, so let okay, me see your ID. do you hear this, mom? Do you hear this, mom? I'm waiting on my friend and now I'm about to get arrested because I'm, I'm not going to ask you again. ID. I'm not going to ask you do again. Do you hear this, mom? He's not giving me a problem, or what What did I do wrong? What did I do? These people can kill me, Mom. I I'm going to ask you one more safe. time, and then I'm going to pull you out of the car, okay? You're not pulling me out of nothing. Sorry, please. Why are you being aggressive? After our original reporting, we received correspondence that this officer had done this same routine, walking up to black women in that same area, asking for ID, arresting them, harassing them, sometimes violently, and only charging them with resisting arrest and no other crime. Her charges, Ms. Cooper's charges, have been summarily dropped after our reporting. Before, they were trying to prosecute to the fullest extent. No plea negotiation offered, nothing. They wanted to make an example. Well, we got more information now. Put up the picture for mass. Um, beautiful soul, I've spoken to her and her mother offline. Remarkable people. Talk about good hearted individuals. And then this piece of garbage cop. It was late October when we received the news that indisputable coverage led to the dismissal of charges for Ms. Kiana Cooper. The black woman was brutally assaulted by a Broward County Sheriff's deputy in Florida. Now we have statements from Ms. Cooper following that last update. Prosecutors dropped the charges after she was falsely accused of assaulting the deputy, which you did not see because it did not happen, who arrested her on her birthday last year when she advocated for herself and asked a relevant question. Cooper was facing felony charges of aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer resisting an officer with violence. Throughout the ordeal, Cooper maintained her innocence, asserted that the deputy, Stephen Davis, was the aggressor, most of which was actually recorded on his body cam from May 7th. 2022, we obtained the body cam footage at Indisputable. Showed it to the world, and all of a sudden, everybody in the justice system said, ah, we've made a mistake here. You had the damn footage yourself. You knew exactly what you were trying to do. This is some of the damage this cop did to Miss Cooper. Okay? See that? As we covered in October, direct source tied to our family informed us that our coverage led to the dismissed charges, sent us an email, said, and I quote, um, I want to thank you, Dr. Rashad and the whole TOT network. I am pleased to say if the airing of your video did not take place, 
please, Kiana Cooper's case would have not been resolved properly, end quote. Now we have statements from Ms. Cooper herself and her mother. Ms. Cooper said, and I quote, this whole process has been exhausting. I'm happy to say my criminal record has been null prost. However, he beat me like I was an animal. Went against my rights as a civil citizen. All the while moving in good faith of the state and everyone around me stood by him, protected him, and made wicked claims about me as if I was crazy. She continued, this whole situation has taken me through the toughest times of my life. I was not expected nor prepared to get into trouble like this, where something like this could affect my background records, cleared prior and will be, should be cleared after this incident. This is new and frustrating to me. The worst part about it all, BSO has Stephen Davis, the cop, the deputy, working still till this day and relocated his position. Update, I'm currently preparing for civil court, Uh, meaning she's about to sue them, okay? She's about to sue them. Uh, Keanu's mother gave us a statement as well, remarkable woman. Quote, I reached out numerous, I reached out to numerous attorneys to see if anyone can help my daughter and I. I was told by several attorneys, they would not fight against the police department. As a result, we did find one attorney who was a former officer. He took the case and yes, it was a rocky road for my daughter and I. I'm talking about the criminal case. I am just happy to say the criminal portion is over. However, my baby going through this pain and hurt affects me as well. Being a witness to this situation happening to my daughter, both physically and emotionally, has truly hurt me and I want this man fired. He should be arrested. He should be indicted. He falsified a police report. He, I'm sure he's lied under oath. He definitely did not engage in office or let's say workplace de-escalation policies. None of that occurred. There's more. Quote, he should not be in America police. No one the way he did my daughter. Kiana could be your daughter, your mother. Your wife, your sister, the way he handled the situation, it should be zero tolerance for anyone doing this to others, no matter what status you have. In conclusion, I seek some help to find a civil rights lawyer because the officer is still working, never stopping working. After your broadcast on August 24th, 2023, I was told per the attorney, he was relocated to another situation or location. Put up the sheriff. This is Sheriff Gregory Tony. He's actually made a couple of moves I agreed with and some I do not. Keeping this individual on staff as a cop sheriff is going to bite you and every taxpayer in that county in the ass. Now you're making a decision here because as the elected sheriff, you have constitutional authority. The civil service rules do not apply to you like they would apply to the chief of police. You can fire him and deal with the political fallout, but at least you did the right thing because this could have been your daughter, Sheriff. And we already have it on record that he has done this to other women of color in that same area. You know he stinks. All right, Ravonna, thoughts here? Yeah, I wish Kiana and her family all the luck moving forward in the civil litigation that is to come. She deserves, absolutely deserves compensation for the uh, physical trauma she endured, for the emotional trauma she endured, and the reputational damage that she suffered as a result of the egregious lies uh, of the sheriff's department. Uh, I will also say that there (laughs) has not been sufficient justice, though, in just dropping the charges against her. This police officer needs to be, as you mentioned, prosecuted because shuffling him around while still allowing him to maintain a position of power when he has shown a pattern of abuse specifically towards black women is absolutely 
not just inappropriate, it, sh- it shouldn't be happening at all. And again, that is just demonstrating the lack of accountability that he is being held to. I'll also point out that uh, from the moment he assaulted Kiana, the sheriff's de- when, he, when he brought her back to the station, the sheriff's department knew what happened. Yeah. They had the body cam footage. They knew exactly what went down and that his version of events was a complete and utter lie and that she, while proclaiming her innocence, was telling the absolute truth. But it took that footage being aired here on this show and the outrage of this audience and a, the platform here for them to reverse course in charging her. What does that tell the audience? What does that tell us as Americans about the state of this department? That they knew what happened beyond a doubt with the footage, but they were still willing to you know, put this young woman through this torturous experience and protect the officer that violently assaulted her. That's right. It tells you that they are in fact corrupt. That's it. They are corrupt, regardless of policy. Their culture eats that policy alive. 